So this slide's going to bounce around a little bit. I wanted to bring some bot motion up here with me. And so this is actually uh, clips from our uh, proof of concept. This is order entry. And what's going on, just to run around the slide real quick, box one is where we're, this is our, our essentially our BPM tool. This is salesforce.com. We get a manual order into Salesforce, so it's a new case. And in the current process, somebody's got to go open that case. They've got to download a PDF with a bunch of fields on it. They've got to extract all that information out. They've got to put it into some homegrown tools. They've got to move it over to SAP, rinse, repeat. Not very accurate. They're writing stuff down on Post-it notes on their desks. They're keeping track of stuff in their head. It's not great. So in the automated version of this process, we've got RPA going in there and pulling that case down, taking the PDF, handing it off to an OCR machine learning bot. That's where the data extraction happens. And we've seen many slides and screens like this today. That then hands it back over to RPA to enter it into some homegrown tools that we have, enters it into SAP, gets the order ship date, and then actually closes the case back up in Salesforce. So this is pretty classic type case. But what I really wanted to point to here is the chevrons down the side, the little human icons there, back to human augmentation. So in the first step, that RPA bot, well, maybe it grabs a case that's a, a, a big, a, what we call a big deal. Maybe it's over a million dollar order, and we don't want robots working that one. We kick that to a human. So now, instead of working the next thing that comes in, I'm the guy who's only working big deals. I'm the guy who's really interfacing with my partners in, in the channel or with the salesperson that, that tried to close this deal and white gloving it through the process. And more interesting work. In box two, I need a human to do the quality control. I need a human that's teaching the bots, doing that machine learning. Much more interesting work. That's a job that doesn't exist today. People are excited about that. Box three, we may have um, a credit hold or some type of a business process that needs a human in the loop to make a, a decision. Now I'm making more interesting decisions. I'm not doing data entry. My work is better. Box four, there could be some type of a critical failure with the bot. I need a power user to get in there and tune it. Now I'm a power user. Now I'm a bot master. So the work that's left and the humans in the loop here is much more interesting. It's much more rewarding. And it's much more head work than fingers on keys.